Uh, things don't really change, do they? Yeah, <laughs> and so I think in the last session at some point I said, Oh, I haven't recorded Unleashed in a while. Yeah, I guess like, every time I record this game I have to make like a new record for myself because um, the last recording session I did for this game was like back in early November or something. So yeah, it's been a hot minute. <laughs> a lot of stuff has uh, happened since then. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, I've not exactly been, um, the greatest when it comes to, um, being consistent with this playthrough, or really just a lot of playthroughs in general nowadays. Um, most of my time is spent just kind of doing streams, which is honestly so something I enjoy doing a lot more nowadays, because I don't have to worry about editing the videos, I don't have to worry about splitting them up into segments. I can just kind of roll the crap and just yolo it <laughs> and uh, just kind of chill. Um, I still, I do still enjoy doing these LPs and I'm still gonna do them for the foreseeable future but yeah I don't have as much of a desire to like do them as much as I used to. Um, I, I, with that said, though, I will try. I will try to actually, um, you know, be more consistent with this playthrough, um, and you know, like keep, make it more, update it more frequently and whatnot. Um, because I have, um, I have actually um, been holding out on uploading stuff for a while, just for the fact that I want to have a bunch of stuff. Um, like, f free edited, um, so I can just send, like, a bunch of stuff out and have a b steady flow of content for a while, um, as I, I think I mentioned on Twitter not too long ago, but I don't know who's actually following me, following me on there, um, so, well, I, I do, but I mean, like, I don't know if anyone watching this is following my Twitter, so, um, yeah. Yeah, either way though, it has been quite a, quite a long time. Like, I'm trying to remember all the like a bunch of the stuff that's happened since then. Like, um, on the gaming front, like, um, like Three D World. For reference, on like when this is recorded, um, Three D World is uh, or Three D World Deluxe rather is coming out in a couple days. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Three D World is definitely on my like lower end of Three D Mario games, but it's, I still really like it. And I haven't played it in like five years, I want to say at least. Um, and the Bowser's Fury thing is uh, looks pretty cool, so I am looking forward to playing it. Um, I don't plan on streaming it like on launch day or anything. I pro I don't really plan on streaming it for a long time period, just for the fact that I kind of just want to play it in my own time and just relax. But it might be. It might be something down the line, eventually, that I might do. Especially the fact that there's DL DLC. The fact that there's, um, um, whatchamacallit, um, multi online multiplayer for it. So that's gonna be, that should be fun. Um, but yeah, I, looking forward to that. Um, in terms of other things, um, <laughs> Rezero has definitely been getting interesting. Um, that's, um, on its... See, uh, second part of season two right now, um, and uh, yes, yeah, it gets pretty intense. Um, I'm not gonna go any further than that in case people haven't seen it and want want to, but that's uh, definitely a show, right? <laughs> and um, in terms of other anime stuff, uh, I've been, well, I haven't been, but like, um, sometime from. After the last recording session to now, I did. I have. Um, I've watched all of Madoka Magica twice over. Um, so I watched it once for my by myself, and I'm just like, I need to get Lewis into this. So I, I want to see how he how he reacts. Um, so I watched it again with him, and then we watched it again with our friend um, Aaron or TM Kingdom, um, as he goes by on YouTube. Um, we watched uh, the Re Rebellion movie, and uh, I know that one's pretty divisive, but... And I can understand why, and I can't really go into detail 
but I still really liked it. I, I'd still give both the series and the movie a 10 out of 10 personally, because um, in terms of just anime series, it's um, definitely up there. Um, it's not my f favorite favorite that still goes to Lucky Star for mostly personal reasons, um, but it's definitely top, it's at least top three. Uh, I will like, at least give it that much. I don't know about top two, but definitely top three. Um, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's most of the stuff that's been going on outside of like just streaming. Oh, uh, Cra uh, Crash 4 is also a thing that happened. That game destroyed my life for months. <laughs> like, um, oh, here's a cool secret actually. If you go down here, uh, just walk around this bridge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that was um, what happened there is um, the stupid. I don't understand the classic controller inputs like being recognized as GameCube controller buttons because um, this should be pr like showing up as R, but it's showing up as X. I, God, <laughs> can we please calm down a little bit here? Um, yeah, but um, jeez. Oof. It's a little bit scary here. Um... What was I saying? Like, uh... I don't even... I don't even know. Oh, Crash 4! Um, so yeah, that, that game destroyed my life for a while. Um, I'm never <laughs> completing that game 100% ever again because, quite frankly, that is worse than... death. <laughs> Maybe not that bad, but it's still like, ish. I I never want to do that again. Um, it's a great game though, except when you go for one hundred six percent. Um, a hundred percent, I guess, isn't too bad because there is a lot of leeway, and you can choose a lot of what you want to complete to get to hundred. But one hundred six percent, forget, like forget it, mate. Like <laughs> I'm never doing that again. Um. Yeah, anyway, so let's talk about the uh, game in question for a minute. Um, I really do like Tuna and Night. Um, Tuna and in general is one of my favorite areas in this game, in both versions. Um, the I, I kind of just get a kick out of... Um, There's a big door over there. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Chub. Um, it's one of my favorite areas in both Unleashed Wii and HD. Um, I definitely say that the Wii version has the edge in terms of the night, the night stage, um, just because it has a lot more platforming and unique elements to it. Whereas the one in HD, as we'll find out later on, is a lot more—I don't want to say basic, but it, it's definitely one of the biggest examples I can think of where um, the HD version meshes a bunch of stuff together into one stage. Um, and it's the biggest, it's the biggest example to me where it doesn't really work too well, like, I like the stage fine enough, fine enough, and uh, there are some cool secrets you can find, um, and, like, exploring the levels, I think is generally better in, on the HD version, just because there's so much more stuff to find, but as, in terms of, like, the stage design itself, I feel like it's a bit too simple like I I feel like it's ironically enough um, I think it's <laughs> I think it's too short uh, I don't think the level goes on for long enough to really um, do enough interesting things I guess um, like there's some cool secrets here and there um, but I feel I feel like the fact that the, the Wii version has these three segmented stages me makes it so it can f again like i mentioned pro uh, a few times before this it makes it so the wii version can have time to flesh out a specific like stage idea um and set pieces and whatnot um whereas in hd one they have to do one stage and just kind of condense it all together and for the most part it works uh, like in like avatos night for instance that one that one's still a really good opening stage and it 
puts it all together really nicely. Um, and stuff like Adabat, for instance, that we'll find later on. I think that that stage is also really good. Um, but stuff like Chunan for the HD one, while I still like it as a stage, again, I feel like it's a bit messy. Like, I feel like there's too much going on and not enough going on at, at the same time, which I admit is a confusing way to uh, word it, but that's the best way I can really describe it. Like, I don't know. As for this, as for the Wii one though, um, this is a much longer stage, like, on when you put all three, three of these stages together. Um, honestly, most of the time the Wii version is has a longer ratio of, like, spending time in the night. Um, when, when it comes to, like, the regular stages, that like, when you can put everything into, into account, like, the extra missions, the town missions, the... whatchamacallit, the, um, photo exorcism missions, then that's when things get a bit more complicated, but in terms of like regular stages, you tend to spend more time in the night on the Wii. Um, and that can be good or bad depending on, depending on who you ask, I guess. I used to think it was, uh, it was more on the bad side because I felt like I was in the mindset these are just way too long, I need to get- I want to get back to, like, regular Day Sonic. Um, and... I don't really think that nowadays, like... I can... I cannot understand why some people would say, like, these are too long. They shouldn't- there shouldn't be three of these stages. Like, if you're gonna have... Uh, I swear... I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a thing here, right? Yeah. Yeah, um... Like, I can understand people saying that these stages go on for too long, if, especially when they're split up, split up into three segments. Um, but I kind of, I kind of like how the Wii version is like different. Like it uses the uh, console's uh, less powerful hardware to to its advantage. Like it can't have, jeez, well that sucked. <laughs> um, it can't have um, all three stages in one because it just the PS2 and the Wii can't handle that. Um, well, maybe the Wii could if you, like, tried hard enough, I guess, but definitely not the PS2. Um, I don't know why I'm struggling so much on this drum. Um, so I do like the two compromise, they split them up into three segments, and, like I said, each segment is a different set, like, specific set piece, or part of, like, the, of the world that they can flesh out a lot, because it's just... Put into one stage um so i do really like that um and uh, i've grown more fond of the gameplay of the werehog over the years myself um so i i don't mind spending more time with him honestly especially for the fact that now that i have other beat -em up games under my belt or well, like action hack and slash whatever whatever the hell you want to call them um now that I played those kinds of games where the playtime for levels goes up to like 30 minutes to 40 minutes, I don't really mind spend spending a lot of time with the Werehog um, nowadays. Especially since when you can, again, I've mentioned this before I'm pretty sure, but um, when you compare it to Bayonetta, Wonderful 101, those kinds of games, um, oh, for one thing, yes, it's not as complex as those games. But I don't- I also don't think it really needs to be. Um, it's definitely one of the more simple types of beam up kind of games, like for this kind of genre. But I- I feel- I feel like that's fine. I don't think a Sonic game nece necessarily needs to be as mechanically depth- uh, deep as that. Um, and I think it's- I think there's enough there for it to- be satisfying anyway, in my opinion. Um, the Wii version, in terms of combat, less so, but still, I think it, I think it makes up for it in terms of just the level design itself and the platforming, um, and just exploring these levels. I feel in general is a treat in and of itself. So I'm, I'm fine with that, honestly. Like, it could be. I'm not saying that this is like perfect or like it can't be improved because. 
it definitely can like this can definitely be like 10 times better but for what we got i feel like it's fairly i, I feel like i i feel like um this is a a pretty good um play style just kind of in general like I honestly don't think he it, it's really that slow either. Like it's definitely not boost Sonic fast, but I don't. I also don't think it's um this slow drag that a lot of people seem to claim it as either. Like yeah, the levels are long, but I I really don't think that you move you get around the area that slowly. Um, I feel like it's just one of those things where it's just a lot of space to cover. Um, and I guess that can be good or bad depending on your viewpoint, but uh, I, again, I never really minded longer stages in Sonic games. And um, again, since this is, oof, that was weird, uh, since this is emulating that hack and slash beat em up kind of genre like I keep mentioning, longer levels are kind of warranted. And again, for this ty type of uh, uh, start play style these levels are actually really short so um yeah i don't really mind it too much i kind of talked in circles a lot there but you get the point <laughs> uh but yeah this is a this is a really nice stage though i like this act in particular i, I really enjoy pl any any game really that has you ascend up a waterfall i like, I, that's like one of my favorite kind of set pieces in a game because I like the general feeling of um, climbing up like a structure or f you, you know what I mean I, I like the feeling of climbing up stuff in a platformer um, so it's too nice it's also probably the longest um, Chunan night stage so on the Wii I mean And haven't, there hasn't really been that many fights, so there was a few at the start, and we haven't had we really had any until now, so that's pretty good um, ratio of um, platforming to uh, battles, I think. Um, yeah, like I was saying earlier, the, the um, combat is definitely weak in the Wii version, uh, I won't deny that. Like, there's not really much you can really do to innovate your combos or anything like that. Um, but I, I feel like they knew that, so they made it so enemies don't really take that much damage. Even like the layered late game moves, like, they really don't take that much to kill. So I feel like they understood that and made it so you didn't fight nearly as many enemies as the HD one. And I don't take nearly as much punishment to like kill. So it, it, it could be a lot worse is what I'm trying to say. And now we have the final stage, which I think is just a uh, long, like, bridge level, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Path to Darkness. Insert Ansem quote here. <laughs> oh, yeah. And one thing I also really like, in this stage particular, look at this, like, just draw distance. Like, look at, look at the background, all the, uh, you see the rest of the great wall and um all the all the uh, lights the fire and everything um it's some great stuff for like sd these sd consoles um and it proves that like you don't necessarily have to have a um high definition console to be able to achieve stuff like that which is really nice i think What's this weird? also that was, I I really do like that secret too, because, um, okay, I need to be careful with this, because I feel like if you let it, yeah, if you, yeah, you don't want to, like, have it go down, have the bridge go down all the way, because you get another secret. Yeah, that's all, th this is, like, my favourite part of the playing as the Werehog, like, just look, f finding all these different secrets around the levels, like, that never gets old to me. 
Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect him to uh, have that much um, wind power. <laughs> right, let's try this again, buddy. It's, in it's interesting how this how these enemies work because on this version they're more of a direct threat, whereas in the Wii ver uh, HD Wii version. Uh, whereas in the HD version, they're more of a puzzle element, um, which is interesting. There we go. And very Windy Valley from SA1 vibes there. This is interesting as well, um, the Wii version introduces these water bar barrels way earlier in this version. Um, I seem to recall them not showing up until like, Shamar on the HD one. Whereas in this game they're showing up now, which is like, uh, like in... What, the, what is it? The Werehog's third stage, I think? So, yeah, that's quite a bit earlier. Um, it's kind of interesting how that works. And we get one last segment where we platform up this little uh, structure right here. And we fall because we're idiots. Good stuff. Thankfully that doesn't matter in terms of like your ranking in this game. Although it will probably affect like the time. Like, I don't know how generous to time this for this so like usually the Wii version is fairly fairly easy in terms of S rank requirements um so it shouldn't be too bad but we can't exactly be lollygagging any either so yeah your best move in the Wii version is really just the um throw because that if you can aim that correctly, you can like get a bunch of damage off of that. Let's kill these guys. And all we'll be good with the world. I have noticed that the Wii version and uh, tends to favor more open spaces. And I feel like the reason for that I, for both Sonic and Werehog, um, for the reason for that with the Werehog, I do feel like he's admittedly a lot more slippery in this version, so I feel like they made the areas more spacious to compensate, which I think, I think, uh, I can English, uh, I think it works, like, if this, w if this was more narrow, let's say, I feel like it would be a lot more annoying to uh, get around and e a lot easier to just kind of mess up and fall um, so I do appreciate that they thought about that um, and like made these made the levels in general more spacious than it's HD bro it's HD brother because um, like that version is a lot um, it's a lot easier to move around so it, you don't have as much of a worry of uh, falling off an edge or whatever. <laughs> Kill these guys. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, one thing that I this is this is why um yeah, kids, this <laughs> this is why you don't record uh playthroughs this like the same play like the same game uh so far apart from each like each recording segment. Like I don't remember like anything I've said in the, like, I, I remember, like, barely anything I've said, um, but, yeah, I, what was I trying to say? Oh, yeah, um, okay, so, I, I may as well mention this, there are some parts of the game where the game will just not allow you to go into a running animation, and I feel like that's, they did that so you can't, for some areas, you just simply can't do the double claw swipe off the edge. Because as soon as you go into the running animation, Sonic will do that, and it can, 
lead to it, it can sometimes lead to problems. Let's just say. Um, but yeah, remember the um, Titan from Abatos on, on HD one. This is his first appearance in this game, in this version, and he kind of goes down like a chump. Um, so yeah, he's much easier here than on that version. Kind of unfortunate because like you, you don't see this guy until like the third some like stage on the way and he's just kind of pathetic i mean i did have unleashed on but still <laughs> like on the hd one I, at least you had to well you don't have to but um at that point you don't have that many moves so you can't really go make his health go down too fast even in unleashed um and you have the uh finisher as well it's, it, in this version, it's like, I feel like even, even if you don't use the Unleashed mode, he, he still kind of goes down like a chump. And he doesn't exactly have that many moves. Like, I don't even think he has this, like, the jump shockwave move in this version. I could be wrong. No, I've got... Special mission and all this stuff. Oh, oh well, I, okay. Well, I wasn't planning on um, starting to record the recording uh, session here or this, this part of the recording session, but yeah, we found Wentos again. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just keep talking to him. <laughs> Yeah, let's be nice. And we'll see him again at some point, maybe. Um, yeah, just hit that, uh, hit that woman, because why not? <laughs> Abuse. And hi, Amy. Hooray. Um, yeah. <laughs> So it's kind of interesting. In the Wii version, Amy will be like in the same, in like in the lab with uh, Pickle, whereas in the HD one, she's outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just. So I I was wrong. Like I I think I remember saying that in the in the HD one, you can you don't have to go to the professor as much, but I think, like both versions, you you do have to do that. And, um, admittedly, that's one thing I don't really care for that much. Um, like, obviously, like, it's so, I, it's so, it's, I'm not saying you can, you can, you have to, like, remove that part of the game entirely. Like, going back to the professor sometimes is fine, I guess, but I feel like it's kind of unnecessary to do that, like, so often as much as, like, the game does. Um, so it, I feel like it could could have been toned down a fair bit. Either way, though, let's go back to Chunan, and I I talked over the uh, the music and just the I mean it was the menu crap, so it didn't really matter that much. But I kind of want to just let you guys bask in the atmosphere and the soundtrack because this is amazing. Also, that frame rate. <laughs>
Like, minus the frame rate, that is gorgeous. Like, I, I love this game so much. <laughs> yeah, that's enough of that, let's move on. Anyways, um, moving on from that, I, yeah man, I, I just love the, I love the music. God, I gotta remember, like, <laughs> it's so weird changing versions, like, I was, I was about to just, um, pr go, like, square triangle, Square triangle, uh, square triangle for a combo, but it doesn't work it like that in this version. It's so weird. But yeah, first things first, we gotta look around the hub for the medals. And I remember these ones kinda, like, I remember one of them in my first, like, run of this. Uh, my first LP. Um, I remember, like, at least one of these medals kinda giving me a hard time just finding it. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. I feel like some of them, yeah, I feel like most of them we, we're gonna ha we're gonna have to like get them with uh, regular day Sonic. I mean we can change now, but eh, I feel like it's better to save that for later. So let's just move around on the ground level first, and then worry about the other stuff later. Um. But yeah, I love this this world so much. Like I, I love the eastern atmosphere, the whole like Chinese aesthetic, um, the music. For some reason, I get a, a real good kick out of um, eastern music, like eastern instruments. Um, like whenever I hear that that kind of that style of music, I just something about it just kind of clicks with me. Um, I am part Asian, I guess, so I guess that has something to do with it, but. I don't know, man. I just... It's just kind of music that um, kind of just speaks to me, I guess. Also, can you, like, line this up better, please? I feel like Chip was probably in, like, <laughs> in the way of the button prompt, so that's probably what was going on there. Yeah, I just... I just love how serene this place is. The music for the hub is gorgeous. I I'm gonna turn, turn it up, actually. I don't know... Uh, how much this is gonna screw screw the recording, but future <laughs> future me can worry about it. <laughs> uh, that's my how I see it. But yeah, this is great stuff all around. I'm a big fan of this. Um, I would appreciate if the frame rate wasn't complete garbage, but that's what happens when you have so much detail everywhere. Like, the console just can't keep up. And, it, like, as, mu as much as I do still like the look of, un like, Generations, um, Car Carlos is gets a pass because it's on the Wii, um, but I, I do like the look of Generations a lot, but it, I, it does, uh, what is it, uh, for lack of a better term, dumb down the graphics a fair bit, so it runs smoother. Although that being said, uh, Generations is still no saint either because Crisis City also chugs like a <laughs> like like a madman um, during some segments. So yeah, that that's pretty bad too. It's be better optimized than this game, I I will admit, but it's still not great. <laughs> um, well, it, it is pretty good overall, I'd say, but it still has those instances where it gets like really, really bad. <laughs> 